What's going on and welcome back to another less than five minute gear review and in this video we're going to be going over some of the newer body whip antennas and antenna relocators from Disco 3.2. Now these guys are going to range from about $55 to about $70 depending on what you're looking at purchasing. Whether you're going to go with the threaded connector, the TNC or the bayonet connector that you can see here, the BNC or the QD connector. So kind of some common terms and technical terms in there for you that way if you're working with guys that know more of like the common tongue stuff or you could say infantry uh, verbiage to a QD connector instead of a BNC connector you know what they're talking about so uh, with that Disco 3.2 sent all of this stuff to me because I had some of their older products I talked a little bit on some of the kind of caution points when it comes to some of their older equipment that they were pushing out very similar in design however there were some break points in the connectors due to just excessive wear and tear and use in the tactical environment so over the years and over time they've taken feedback from the tactical industry and the guys that were running the systems reinforced those points and uh, kind of made everything a little bit more streamlined low profile and not as thick when it comes to uh, the overall size of uh, the antenna cabling or uh, coax cable, I believe, um, that they're using. So everything is a little bit more streamlined, a little bit harder to get snug or snagged on. And uh, like I said, they've reinforced a lot of different components. So I'm going to dive right into it so that way you can see what's going on. Uh, that he also sent over a couple of different connectors for both uh, Beofong, Yesu, Motorola, and military radios. So as I do a little bit more of a deep dive in communication equipment in the future, I'll be talking about all of these guys so that way you can see uh, what connectors to use with certain radios. So then that way it helps streamline the process of your purchases and you don't have to do as much research. You can just reference that video uh, and make it a little bit easier on you when it comes to trying to figure out what you need. So I'm gonna set those off to the side for now. Uh, when it comes down to when to all your connectors, you have male and female, and then you have threaded and bayonet. So like I said earlier, the bayonet is going to be more of that QD. It's just going to kind of drop right onto the connector like so, and then twist and close, where the threaded is going to just thread right on like so. So that's kind of just a down and dirty on that piece. But what I have on the table, aside from the connectors, I've got the antenna relocator with the threaded end as well as the bayonet end. And then I have two body whips, one with the threaded end and then one with the bayonet end or QD end. So just briefly going over these, I'll start with the antenna relocator, talk on kind of the main points. Um, just because it was a little bit smaller compared to the in, the actual body whips. So when it came to these guys and where some of the breakpoints were, it was all around the connectors, just wear and tear, the tactical environment, the abuse that uh, happens to a lot of equipment, whether it's pouches, radios, weapons, accessories, everything across the board. That tactical wear and tear just tears things apart really quickly. I mean, you can buy a pouch and destroy it in the same day, depending on the environment that you're working in. So... There are some breakpoints down here with the connectors, and uh, they would either be completely sheared off from fast roping, slinging weapons, transitioning from rifle to pistol. Uh, stuff would get caught on these, and it would break. But since uh, since I've used them in the past, and some of the guys that I know that have used them, uh, it definitely looks like they have really taken the time to reinforce the connection points, uh, both with the uh, sleeves right next to the connector as well as the uh, heat shrink to keep everything nice and tight and in place so that way you don't have to worry about it as much. I would say that these are very competitive with both 21st Tacticals body whips as well as uh, cattails. It's going to be kind of personal preference when it comes down to who you want to purchase from. They all kind of have their own unique look to them. So uh, with that, this guy is pretty much, I'm not going to say it's entirely waterproof or resistant. Uh, with radio equipment, you can do everything that you can to try and prevent uh, water from getting into stuff, but unfortunately it happens. So uh, with that, though, the heat shrink, the sleeve, and all of that has definitely really insulated it really well, so that way you don't have to worry about water um, getting into those connectors as long as everything's nice and tight. However, with the bayonet lugs just being that kind of cutie clip-on, 
uh, attachment, you do run the risk of that water getting in there. However, with the body whips compared to the antenna relocators, they've definitely sealed off both ends. So the end of the antenna is sealed with a little cap, heat shrink, and then some what looks like to be kind of a water resistant adhesive uh, just to help reinforce everything and prevent water from getting inside of this. Uh, so that way you don't have to worry about any damage to the, uh, the antenna itself. Uh, I don't know what's all going on up here at the top where it's kind of uh, expanded, but I would assume that it has to do with some of the uh, transmission piece of antennas. I'm not totally savvy on a radio equipment anymore uh, compared to when I was a RTO almost 10 years ago. So uh, a lot of that information is going to come back with time and after doing a little bit more research. But at the bottom of these, though, you do have two different versions that you can go with. You can go with a bayonet style or a QD style, like you see here, or the threaded style. They can be at a 90 degree angle or they can be straight. It's entirely up to you on how you want to set all of that up. I prefer the 90 degrees because of how I have my radio set up on my uh, plate carriers. So it just makes it a little bit easier to stow all the cabling, make sure everything's nice and neat and not impeding me in any way when it comes to shouldering a rifle and or exposing those cables to the elements and or the environments to where they can get snagged and caught and torn or uh, break off. So uh, with that, the connectors like on the, uh, oh my goodness, like the uh, antenna relocator are all sealed the same. Uh, nice pretty durable plastic or rubber at the end here on that connection point and then heat shrink to help kind of keep everything in place and then i'm sure he probably also has what looks to be that little bit of like glue or adhesive on the interior to to help secure everything and make sure that it stays in place so with that i would highly recommend them i do think this is a really good product overall um i definitely think they've made a ton of improvements compared to some of their old product line it's definitely a lot more streamlined and low profile compared to the old stuff where it was significantly thicker so uh, that's a really nice thing to see when it comes to the overall development of their product line so with that like i said these guys are going to range from about 55 to 70 bucks it really just depends on how you want to configure your equipment as far as what that price tag is going to look for you and then he has plenty of different connectors both male female uh, threaded and bayonet connectors so with that if you have any questions please feel free leave a comment we'll help you out in any way that we can like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.